Okay. I cheated. I cheated as a shura. As a developer, I should be the one telling my computer what to do. I shouldn't be enslaved by it to manually draw circles. So here's how I did it. Let's create a new Rust project. We need control over the mouse. Mouse RS will do the job. Let's add it to the project and install the required library. We need to be able to move to the starting point, press the left button, draw by moving the cursor, and stop by releasing it. Let's run this example. It works. Now we need to find where we need to move on the screen. To do that, I can use xdutil get mouse location. It gives us the current coordinates of the mouse pointer. Let's put it in a loop and move the cursor at the center of the circle. Let's take another point as far as possible to know the maximum radius we can use. Okay, we'll take a radius of 450. Let's write it down and remove everything useless. Okay, now that we know which point we need to draw a circle around and how big the radius can be, let's draw a circle. How do we do that? Let's draw two axes, X and Y, that crosses in point C. We can draw a circle of center C and radius R. Given a point P on the circle, let's not theta, the angle between the X axis and the segment CP. Knowing that related to C, cosine of theta is equal to xp over r and sine of theta is equal to yp over r. We can calculate the coordinates xp and yp. So xp is equal to r time cosine of theta and yp is equal to r time the sine of theta. In our case, the center c isn't zero, zero. So we need to add its coordinates to have the absolute position of p. In Rust, sine and cosine are methods of primitive types where the variable is in radians. So we can translate our previous equations with the following. Now, which value do we give to our angle theta? It needs to take all the values in the range 0 to 2 pi. Yeah, but using radians isn't really easy. Instead, I will use degrees. But because theta needs to be in radians, I introduce a new variable holding the value of the angle in degrees and then convert it in radians. To draw a circle, we can iterate over the 361 values of the range. It should be smooth enough. Nice, we successfully moved the cursor in a circle. We are close, but before drawing the circle, we first need to move the cursor at the right position and then press the left button. The starting point needs to be on the circle, so we can use what we wrote previously. To avoid code duplication, let's extract the code in a closure and let's call it in the loop. We can move the loop below pressing mouse 1. We can now easily define the starting point. By experimenting a bit, I observed that starting with value 1 was getting better results. So I'm starting at degree 1 instead of 0. And we need to modify the for loop accordingly. Let's run it. And we are done. You now know how to draw an almost perfect circle. I tried to reach 100% by tweaking a bit the code, but wasn't able to. I don't think it's possible. But if one of you find a way, tell us in the comments. Now subscribe.